stadiums. So I uh, really appreciate everyone's support there. Uh, overall, the game, I think keep building. And that's the idea is that if we keep building, uh, then we'll have a chance to get to a one beat by the end of the season. We'll open up with questions. Uh, far left, Bill Landis, The Athletic. <laughs> Ryan, uh, what transpired there with Kayvon Pope in the second quarter that it looked like you told him to leave the sideline after all that? Yeah, so uh, maybe someone just kind of told me, uh, I guess there was some with a tweet or something. I'm going to kind of get the details of everything that happened before I stand in there. You had a player transfer midweek from that group, and then obviously this happened today. I, I, you're already late on guys there, but I, 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 what's going on in that room right now? Like, are you okay with how that's all kind of coming along? Well, it's, in today's day and age, you know, guys can um, you know, leave um, you know, four games because they, you know, uh, in red shirt. And then, um, you know, if they want to go in, in the portal, that's, that's their prerogative. And, you know, I have a hard time with that because I think, you know, when you make a commitment to a team at the beginning of the year, um, you make a commitment to Ohio State and the Buckeyes, that that's, that's what you do. Um, one of the hard things is that, you know, you have to play certain guys. And, you know, you have to make some decisions on, you know, who's playing in those games. And, you know, you just, you, know, you, you really count on the guys to still be great teammates if, if they're not getting on the field. Over here to the right, Austin Ward, Letterman Row. I, I know that you'll say that you need to see the film before you comment, but sure. what, your first, first glance at these quarterbacks and what you thought he was going to do, if that changes anything for you next week, you see yourself. Um, like you said, I'll, I'll watch the film. Uh, let's see. <laughs> You certainly see certain things out there. Um, I thought there were some, some things that were OK. I thought there were some things that we needed to certainly clean up. Um, I thought uh, I got to find out where, where their eyes were at times. Um, you know, with Kyle, um, you know, does a really good job preparing, uh, you know, excellent job. He puts a lot of work into this thing. And so, um, you know, it's, it's the first time he's ever played in, in a college football game. He's a true freshman. Uh, so I think the game was moving pretty fast for him early on. Um, but, but he was even, he was working at hyperspeed, I think. And uh, one of the things we talked about with young quarterbacks is finding the speed of the game. And um, I, mean, I think there were times where he did. Um, and I thought, you know, Jack came in and kind of gave, um, you know, had some poise in there. And he made some nice throws as well. I thought, um, you know, he did some positive things. So, again, we'll kind of look at it. Um, you know, probably not going to make any hard decisions here, but it's just, it's, it's part of the puzzle for sure. Uh, front row left, Matt Murphy, 24-7 sports. <coughs> Ryan, I'm the quarterback. When we talked to you on Tuesday, you said you weren't going to put a guy in Marcus Bradley. Thursday, you announced the senior cover going to play. Was there any trepidation about playing these guys, having them play well, and then causing any sort of quarterback competition that you didn't want to have midseason? Well, uh, from the beginning, I've said that we're going to need all three. And, you know, what does that mean? Um, you know, if we have, you know, one guy that we feel like, or two guys that we feel like, or three guys that we feel like can play and, and we can, you know, win a championship with, and, and we're, we're in pretty good shape. You know, I think we're still working towards that. And that's, um, this was an opportunity to get those guys some reps, get them in the game, get a real evaluation, which is really going to help them. Because, you know, in practice, you see certain things a certain way, but then when it's coming live and you get hit, you know, it hurts. And um, so I think this is a huge learning experience. I think in the long run, this is, this is great to have these guys get these reps. Um, and so I was excited about that part for them. Front row middle, Nathan Barrett, Cleveland.com. Playing really good football right now. Um, you know, many, 
mean, many people didn't really know who Ronnie was about four weeks ago. You know, and now he's really doing it. Cody Simon's starting to show up. And um, you know, so again, I think it, it was some, there was some strides in the right direction. I thought we were aggressive overall, which was good. I thought we tackled well. Back row left, Clay Hall, WSYX. Did you say anything to Kyle after that first uh, possession? It wasn't hard. Wasn't an artistic success, but I mean, he threw. You know, you saw it. Threw behind. Threw over. Threw. Uh, did you settle him down right there? Yeah, I tried to. Yeah, just what, take, a, take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath and, uh, and kind of find the speed of the game. You know, and just trust your eyes, trust your reads. You know, a lot of preparation to get here, and and, and then and then I thought he settled down a little bit. Was he breathing pretty heavy right now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, front row middle, Bill uh, Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Well, I think we got the experience. That was good. You know, both, both these guys got some reps. Um, I also think that uh, you know, when it comes to CJ, we'll kind of see that tomorrow. And we'll practice tomorrow and see how he's doing. Um, it seems like uh, you know today you know, he's feeling stronger, feeling better. So you know. That, you know, made that decision last Sunday. Now we said we're going to sit down, um, you know, tomorrow and, and kind of figure out what the, what the plan for the week is, and you know, hopefully we can get them going on this week. Far, any you want to add to the Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, it, again, it's it's body reps. So I think everything went perfectly. No, I mean, absolutely not. But but uh, but the fact that they both played in games and are in the game and, and got you know some series under their belt, I think, was good. Uh, back left, Doug Lamarie, Cleveland.com. Ryan, obviously the, the Kayvon situation was pretty unusual to see something like that happen during a game. You have another veteran earlier in the year who didn't play early. You were talking about maybe you just need to see more in practice. Is, is there anything happening that it, is any of this any indication of anything happening within the team, that, especially to have an incident like this with Kayvon? That publicly tonight? No, no. I, it's it's what it really is. Is just I think you know a lot of guys they want to play and you know, you can't play everybody, and, and then there you know frustration kicks in, and um, so again yeah, I don't really want to comment too much on that you know particular situation, but I certainly think it's very isolated. Uh, front row right, Tim May, Letterman Row. Yeah, you talked about this a little bit earlier, uh, Ryan. But when you leave here tonight, do you feel a confidence that you've got a quarterback or two? If something does happen to CJ, we've talked about that many times. Do you feel much better about that situation than you did three hours ago from the standpoint of a, a guy that is now playing, at least playing a game? I think now you know what you have, at least. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say you know what you have, but at least you have an idea of what you have when you get into the game because you, you don't know until you actually play. And now we have some things that we can build on and try to grow from, for sure. And are, was there a guy on defense here? You brought up Brandon Was there another guy, a couple guys that just jumped out at you tonight from an effort standpoint? <coughs> Oh no, again, I'm not going to comment on anything until I get out of this. Yeah, I mean, I just got off the field, so I'm going to have to figure out exactly where that all stands right now. Yeah. Coach, thank you very much. Somewhere. He was in the locker room by the time he tweeted it. He was long on the call yeah. before that happened. All right, folks, we're going to open up questioning. Uh, we've got Antoine Jackson at the far left, Paris Johnson uh, in the middle, and Jackson Smith and Jigba to your left. Uh, we'll open the floor up for questioning. Uh, front row right, Austin Ward, Letterman Row. I thought he did pretty well. I thought he stepped up pretty challenging. He made some good throws. I think there was one time when he was talking to you and probably heard him to watch. But it, how has he been throughout this week? What kind of spirit has he been in? How many have you been in town? I think he's uh, been you know, the same leader he has been um, all through the week. Like he you know, is keeping one and then 
how you know he stepped up. Um, we were all trying to motivate him, and you know he he stepped up tonight. But uh, over to the left, Dan Hope Letterman Row. Hey, hey, Jackson, that touchdown. You look at getting adjusted a little, like with that ball. Is that where you want the ball? And is it more of a funny kind of? I'm pretty sure CJ Barnett took him into the block for him. Anywhere around the room. But, you know, when we complete it, it's all good. You know, it's a good ball to me. But, you know, I would like it, you know, to be easier. I mean, just an easier throw, an easier throw and catch. But, you know, I'm not complaining about it. Did you guys as receivers say anything to Kyle after that? Yeah. Um, you know, the first drive is always hectic, especially, you know, being in a position like Kyle was in. But, you know, I knew, you know, things would definitely slow down, and um, that's what happened, and we took off from there. Second row middle, Joey Kaufman, Clubbus Dispatch. Antoine, you had brought a lot of pressure up front tonight. Exact. Um, the fact that you're able to do that with so many guys down the defensive line, how, how, how big was that? Spencer Tomlinson from Letterman Row. <laughs> Jackson, what do you like about those jet sweep passes? Um, just the, getting my ball, getting the ball in my hands quick, and then, you know, just I can do whatever with it, and yeah, I like them. When you, uh, you guys ran those a lot tonight, do you see Kyle kind of building confidence, even if it's something as simple as just flipping it up to you guys as he's completing passes, do you see him getting a little bit more confident as the game progresses? Yeah, for sure. Um, just momentum building. Uh, back row left, Clay Hall, WSYX. Ferris, how does it help you, the team, to know what the other two, and probably you knew what they could do, but to see it on the field and, you know, make plays, what does that do for the rest of the squad? Oh, well, I mean, it's just a really good feeling just to see the whole team just come together and just make plays and just win as well, so it's a good feeling. And final questions for this group, uh, front row middle, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Um, I thought he was very confident. Um, how do you feel about him? Um, I 
a slow first drive, but everything came to him, and I thought he responded well. I would say that he did not get fluttered and he was, showed his confidence, and I wasn't worried about it at all. Like nobody, I was worried about it. So. Great, gentlemen. Thank you very much. At the middle, we have Haskell Garrett, and over here to your far left is Steel Chambers. We'll open up the questions uh, front row. Tim May, Letterman, Rome. Haskell, didn't you get three sacks tonight? How many did you get? How many did you come up with in your own time? I mean, as a group, I really just I stopped counting, but um, the, the sacks on the United States of America, we played 29 yeah. with defense. And I know, baby. I had a defensive front, so it's all I do. I was going to say, to make that pledge a little bit to yourselves and then deliver, what, what, what do you leave here tonight? I mean, obviously you guys are heavy favorites when it comes to these guys, but you did what you wanted to do. Was it, what do y'all leave here wise, confidence wise? Um, confidence in the young guys. So it was really um, just one of those games where you see what they got and how they can go in um, going forward for the season. So this is a start, and how we're going to confidence play and I'm confident on uh, you know, our young guys stepping up to the plate. Folks, we've also been joined by your, uh, to your far right by uh, Matthew Jones. Uh, we'll continue on with questioning. Uh, Clay Hall, Columbus, uh, WSYX. Steele, how, you flashed several times tonight. Uh, how, how did you've obviously made this transition? Uh, do you feel at home now at linebacker? Uh, I feel like I definitely feel at home right now. Uh, we've got a great group with the Silver Bullets. Um, definitely just the squad that like everyone loves to do their job. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing my job. And if I make plays, I can make a plays. But I mean, can't do it with the rest of the guys. Is this proof that the D is getting better? I think it's the second game in a row, 100, oh, under 100 yards rushing by the opponent, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're just building momentum. Uh, we've got a bunch of great guys in spots, but I mean, we just don't have the experience in some spots, but now we're starting to gain, and now we're just we're moving forward. Uh, uh, left side, uh, front row, Dan Holt, Letterman Row. I mean, 11 Warriors, sorry about that. <laughs> 11 Warriors. Pat how important do you think it was for you guys going into conference play you know, to really come out and just control a game tonight and do that before quarters? Um, it was very important. Uh, the game plan we put together um, and really just guys execute. You know, we had a lot of experienced guys in our house. Um, you know, so I feel that um, defense as a whole, um, we started and now it's time to just roll. Right next door, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Haskell, Tyreek Williams, I led the team in tackles and uh, a couple sacks again. What has he given you guys? How impressed have you been with him? You know, Tyreek is great, and I'm really excited for um, what he has to bring to the table to the D-line and his future. And um, it's just uplifting those guys, and building them confidence, getting the confidence up, and um, getting them comfortable. You know, they're not freshmen. They have to grow up, and they have to play ball. So. What makes them different? You know, just, I don't know, I just feel like Tyler is just really, he wants to, he wants to be really like this player, he wants to be the best, the best, and so I think mean, that's why I keep him the I'm going to go to the far right, uh, back, Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes now on Sports Illustrated. Hey guys, this is a question for any one of the three, or, or maybe a comment from each of you, but, um, you know, it's, it's often said that you rise to the level of your training rather than sinking to the level of your competition. I think everybody knows that happens in the day after some rebuilding, but it sounds like you guys had a couple of really good practices talk a bit about how uh, you, know, you, you kept your focus throughout the course of the week, especially on the defensive side of the ball, put together a performance like this. 
for the most part, it's just um, we didn't really hone in on our opponent. We honed in on you know looking in the mirror and how can we get better as an individual, as a unit, as a whole team. So um, really, it's just um, focusing on ourselves and making the best of you know being the best of ourselves. We'll go far right. Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Row. Matt, are you starting to kind of settle in now? Two games in, are you, are you starting to settle into your role? And there? Uh, yeah, you know, just trying to improve every time, every step I can take, I'm just uh, work hard and improve to it, and I feel like today was another step of improvement, and I'm just going to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it Second row left, uh, second row right, Lori Schmidt, Columbus Dispatch. Pat, you talked about the game plan, how would you describe what the game plan was to make you feel like loose at all, and then Thank you very much.